Shadow Keep is here in around three weeks, and with it we get a whole host of both exotic weapons and armors. Today I bring you all nine exotics we know of so far, and what could also be a hidden exotic. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like truly helps me out, and if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so Shadow Keep brings nine exotics uh, that we know of so far, so let's check them out. And first up, guys, we have the one that's a returner, the Monte Carlo Auto Rifle. This I remember from way back in the Destiny 1 days, when I was still, as I still am now, an Xbox player, and this was an exclusive weapon to the PlayStation. By the time it arrived on Destiny on Xbox, Bungie had already nerfed auto rifles into the floor, so I never truly got to experience this thing's true potential. But I have been told that before any auto rifle nerfs were put into place, that this thing was a true monster. And it's still to this day a fan favourite in both design uniqueness and the way it performs in PvP to many many people out there. Now we first saw an actual glimpse of this ages ago when they first announced the original season pass from way back when. This image you can see on screen now. This image was officially released before the last word and fawn were announced to be returning. And at the time I made a video stating that I knew they were going to return due to the guardians in the background of this image wielding these weapons. At the time I also said I believe the Monte Carlo will return due to the fact we also see it being wielded in the background. We then got months of nothing, almost a year, and then we started seeing the Monte Carlo appear in Shadowkeep trailers and Vidox, and we finally saw it within the inventory on the preview stream for the Armor 2.0. So the weapon will definitely return, and hopefully it's upon the release of Shadowkeep, as we do know Bungie have a habit of teasing certain weapons but holding them back and dropping them as part of a quest, but we will see. Okay, so old out of the way, let's move on to the three new armor pieces we know are coming with Shadow Keep. One per each class, and starting with a master class, the Hunter. So the Hunter receives an exotic helmet called the Assassin's Cowl. And well, it looks pretty damn sexy. Now, this was first seen with an image on Battle.net, and at the time, many thought it might have been an ornament for an existing exotic helmet. We then also saw a brief glimpse of this exotic via a Shadow Keep trailer. And then on Inside Xbox on Mixer, we saw the exotic up close in person. Its intrinsic is called Vanishing Execution. Defeating a guardian with a melee attack or a combatant with a finisher grants invisibility and restores a portion of health and shields. So yes, I look forward to getting my hands on this little beauty. Moving on to the Titans new exotics, the Phoenix Cradles. Armor perk is as follows, Beacons of Empowerment. Your Sun Warrior benefits last twice as long from Sunspot. Allies who pass through Sunspot also get benefits of Sun Warrior. But I'm sure some broker exotic is about damn time people. Okay, so moving on to the Warlock and they receive a new exotic chess piece called the Storm Dancer's Brace. Armor perk is Ascending Amplitude. Each enemy you defeat with Storm Trance increases the damage you deal with Storm Trance. These three exotics have since been previewed on Bungie.net with the image you can see on screen now. And all three of them I will say do look indeed great. Okay so next up we have the first of six non exotic weapons coming with Shadow Keep. And we're going to start with this LMG. Its name at the moment hasn't been confirmed, but the weapon is a true unique monster in the way it performs. Its speciality is pyrotoxin rounds. Fires high powered explosive ammunition. One person who claimed he used it states the following. It fires like an instant linear fusion and has no drop off. It deals 150 to the body and one shots to the face. Referring to usage in PvP obviously. Now I found a little bit of gameplay from numerous trailers, Vidox and streams, but there truly isn't much. But you can kind of hear the way it sounds. Check it out. Now this weapon was first revealed as an actual model at Guardian kind of believe or just before. It was known from then as the bug heavy machine gun due to the back of this thing lifting to reveal what seems to be a fossilized bug of some kind. Okay so we're going to move on to the new garden of salvation raid exotic. 
the one red lovers will be chasing. We had the Legend of Acrius, the 1000 Voices, the Anarchy and the Terroba. We now have the Definity, a Rex themed trace rifle and for sure it definitely looks the part. This exotic was revealed quite some time ago via a Vidoc, but it wasn't mentioned at the time that it was a red exotic. This is when we first saw it, check it out. This is an exotic trace rifle. Fire it on an enemy and it creates a big old crit spot. We've also seen a few glimpses since via trailers and streams. The Definitive's exotic perk is Judgment. Sustained damage with this weapon envelopes the target in a field that weakens and disrupts them. Its trait is called Penance. Targets under the effect of Judgment long enough are struck with a burst of damage. But it's a trace rifle people, is it special enough to be the main exotic behind the Shadow Keep DLC? I ain't sure, but we will see. Okay, so next up we have a heavy exotic bow. The Leviathan's Breath. This weapon is exclusive to Battle Pass owners and comes as part of a quest. Again, we first saw this weapon within that Shadow Keep Vidoc, and this bow offers a kind of knockback effect. Here, check out Bungie testing the weapon. Let me know how it feels to get shot by the heavy bow. I am working on an exotic heavy bow, um, and I'm just working on figuring out some knockback, trying to see how big this. Okay, that's probably too much, but you get the idea. Now, this weapon will also have a really unique ornament, as you can see on the screen now, being wielded by this warlock on the left and it does look miles better with that hive bone structure on it. I love it. Notice the ornament on the right too. I believe this is for that bug LMG. And the ornament within the middle is for the next exotic we're going to check out. The Ariana's Vow. This is an exotic awarded on the Battle Pass. Awarded at rank 1 for premium Battle Pass owners and rank 35 for free Battle Pass owners. So this exotic hand cannon is something again super unique in the fact it's kind of like a new working hand cannon. Here listen to what Bungie say about this thing. Here's a hand cannon that Victor's working on. It fires special ammo and it's a little bit like a, a one-handed sniper. Like it's actually our only hand cannon with a scope on it. Right now it kind of lights you on fire if you keep firing it too much. We'll see. Some people like it, some people are kind of... So yeah, it's Definitely a weapon I can't wait to try out, and it for sure looks super damn cool. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the Void Rocket Launcher called the Death Brunga. A weapon we saw a while back where we got a brief glimpse of it, and then during the latest Shadowkeep trailer, we saw how this thing works. After people of the community saw the trailer and this weapon in action, it quickly found the title of the Void Galahorn. At PAX the tides changed due to us finding out more about the weapon, and it actually acts more like a dragon's breath than a Galahorn. Its intrinsic perk is called Dark Deliverance, fires remotely detonated projectiles that drop void orbs on enemies, hold fire to fire, release to detonate. But yeah people, this thing truly looks incredible that's for sure. And those people are the exotics we know about so far. But 9. 9 is an odd number. Surely Bungie would round that up to 10. And they may indeed might be doing that. So after going back through every single video released by Shadowkeep officially by Bungie, I found another weapon which I don't think I've seen anybody else cover. And please, if I've missed anything, prove me wrong by stating it. But could this be a hidden exotic coming with Shadowkeep? Okay, so going back through every Shadow Key video basically frame by frame, I found this super unique looking rocket launcher. Now at first I thought this was the Death Bringer, but upon closer inspection, it definitely isn't. It's way, way different. And this I believe shoots arc too. And also looking at its design, it has spikes all over it. And its front end is miles different to what we see on the Death Bringer. Now it does kind of remind me of a Scorch Cannon. And the spikes all over it don't seem to match any new weapon themes we've seen coming with Shadow Keep. So either this could indeed be a hidden exotic or maybe it's a new strike weapon. We know Omnigul's making a return. If she's the main boss behind a strike, maybe this is where this unique looking rocket launcher is found. But we will have to wait and see people. But yeah guys, those are all the exotics we know of so far. 
And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.